this is my project polish update for 2015. I'm one month in right now and I'm pretty excited with my progress so far. Now, um, if you haven't watched my original video, I will link it down in the description box below, but originally I had picked out six polishes. I wanted to use them all up by the end of 2015 and as I go through them I am, and as I finish them up I will be adding in replacement polishes and so hopefully by the end of the year I'll have more than the six finished up. But anyway, I was able to finish up one polish in the month time frame. So this is the MAC this is one of the MAC polishes. This is in salad dressing. This is a cream formula and it looks like there's stuff in here, but if you look, I was right there when I started. I marked all of these, but now the polish, I can't get any more onto the brush at all. Like I've tried sitting it like this, I've tried laying it flat, nothing is coming out. This sucker, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see down in there, but it is done. I could even sit here with the polish upside down for like 10 minutes and nothing would come out. So um, this sucker, I used every last drop out of there that I could possibly get out. But anyway, um, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if I can find some of the, I asked Polish Ways, I'll link her down in the description box below too, but she told me that uh, Sesh Feet or the Sesh company, they make some sort of a nail polish thinner, so you could put it into your polish if it starts getting goopy or, you know, the formula starts thickening up or something. So I'm going to see if I can try and pick some of that up before the next update because I've noticed one or two of my polishes have been sort of uh, a little bit thicker than they normally were. So one down and I will go through and show you. I also picked up a nail wheel so I could show you. So this right here, this was Max Cream Nail Polish in Salad Dressing. So that's a swatch of it right there. And I really apologize about the like gloopy, uneven finish on this. It was so difficult to get polish out. And I made a swatch about a week ago for this one. So it was bad then, but I did finish it up. I was very happy about that. So for the next one is going to be this really bright, yellowy, green sort of shade right there. This is Max Nail Polish in Alfredo, and this is a really sheer formula. So I started right at the first mark up there. I'm down to there. So I made some pretty decent progress. I would like to make more on this one in the next month, but that is it right there. It is super sheer. This is even two coats on the nail wheel just to show up like that. It is a very, very sheer polish. So definitely have to layer this or put this down underneath some other like glittery polishes or something. And I did want to mention that I did paint my nails probably three or four times with polishes that weren't included in this little project that I'm doing. So I think I did pretty good. But anyway, there's the progress on that one after one month. The next one is going to be this really bright pink one here. I did not even use this. I was trying to save this one for springtime. So this is the MAC Nail Polish in Comic Cute. And this is from the Archie's Girl collection. That's it right there. This is a really lovely polish. I love it. It's one of my favorite polishes ever. I didn't use this so the mark on here is just the same. The next one up, this is the Revlon Nail Polish in Minted. It's number 85. There's my progress. Now, I did mention this before, but the bottle is wider towards the bottom, so my progress is probably gonna get smaller and smaller every time. But anyway, that is it swatched right there. Just a really beautiful, kind of minty, bluish green sort of shade. I love this one. This is one of my top five favorite polishes ever. And then this really bright, intense blue over here on the end. Again, one of my favorite polishes. This is the Sinful Colors Nail Polish in Endless Blue. And I think I wore this one, I think I wore this one three times. So I started up there and I'm down to there after one month. I think I'm going to focus on maybe these two together for the next month. I'm gonna really try and work hard on these two so you'll you'll be seeing those in a lot of my videos but it's a really beautiful color and it shows up that bright on the nails. Absolutely gorgeous. Next up is 
what is on my nails right now and what is also that glittery one right there. This is the Finger Paints Polish in Hue Left a Message. So there's my mark on there. So I started up here and I'm down to there after a month. I think that is some crazy progress. I didn't realize that I could make this much progress on so many polishes in just one month. I always just switched around my polishes and never really focused on them, but this has really gorgeous, shimmery, lighter pink sparkles in it. I really love this polish. So that is my update as of yet. So since I did finish one of the original polishes, I wanted to add in something else. And I count everything. I count um, full-size polishes as well as little mini ones. So I decided to add in a little mini one this time. I thought I could also um, pair up these two as well. So I could put this white one down you can see the swatch there. It's kind of like, it's probably not gonna pick up true to color, but it's kind of like a peachy apricot sort of shade. It's not a true white. It's definitely off-white, but this is the Color Club Polish in Mod in Manhattan. And so I'm, you know, I have a little bit of progress in there, but I do have two of these. So I would like to make some progress on this guy. So I'm gonna add this one in to replace the MAC polish. And I also wanted to add in a treatment because I've had this thing around for probably five years. I've had it for a really long time and I feel like it is not going anywhere. So this is the Beauty Secrets Nail Matrix Cuticle Oil and this is an instant polish dryer supposedly. I don't know if this necessarily works, but when I'm done painting my nails, I like to just run this over the nail and then around the cuticle area. But you can see there's my line right there. I did have a line up here last year sometime, but I kind of rubbed it off as much as I could. So there's my line right there. I'm a little bit over halfway finished up with this, but I would just like this used up by the end of the year. I had a little revelation um, since the last time that I filmed this video, and you know, I had had this polish around for at least a year, and I was thinking, you know, I don't want to use it. I love it, but I don't want to use it so much because then it'll be gone, and it's limited edition. It came out of a collection. I think it was the Shop Mac Cook Mac or something collection. Anyway, uh, you know, if you don't use them, then they go bad and get goopy and gross and you'll have to throw them away anyway. So you might as well use them up and enjoy them. So this guy is going in my Back to Mac bag. I'm super excited. And let me know if you guys are joining in on this Project Polish or if you're doing something similar, let me know. But anyway, that's all I have. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.